Hi, this is Sara Yoga, and I'm Sara, and I'm going to show another restorative posture with two blankets. This time, you're going to make a sausage. So if your blanket's like this, you roll it up, and then place it lengthways for your back, and then you've got the other one for your head, if you need it. So, with this version, it's much higher. You've got to be also very precise about it going onto the spine. So carefully lower yourself down along the roll and then bring the other blanket to support your head and neck. Then, because you're on a thin roll, you can roll the shoulders either side of the blanket and then bring the soles of your feet together and be in Baddha Konasana. So actually I don't think I want that for my head because you want your chest to be lifting and if your head's too high it makes your chest drop. So allow yourself to settle into the posture, feeling the support of the blanket. Relax your jaw, relax your face. And then to come up, you bring the knees in, rest your hands down, and then push your hands down to sit up. Another way of using the roll is horizontally. And you roll your shoulders over the edge. So because it's a roll, you start on it, and then you roll over it. Until your shoulders reach the floor, or nearly the floor, and the arms are spreading. So you get this broad chest. And then you can keep the knees bent so that the lower back stays long. And just rest the knees together. And then see if you can soften the front ribs. Soften and relax the abdomen. Again, if your chin is doing this, then you need to put a blanket under the head. Your lower back might feel fine, and if so, you could just have your legs crossed. And you get a nice opening in the front of the pelvis, and the exhalation feels really soft and deep. Actually, I wouldn't say it's deep, it's low. Because the pelvis is now open, you can feel the out-breath all the way down to the pubis. But the in-breath, because of the breadth of the chest, is bigger. So as you stay in the pose, or the posture, See if you can feel your out-breath releasing all the way down to the pubis and the in-breath broadening into the sides of the chest. And then when you've finished, to come up, you bring your arms onto the blanket, bring the knees in, and then you push down with the arms, lift the chest and then the face and sit up. So take your time, you don't need to come out of the pose just because I have. But I'm going to show you what to do next. 
So when you're done, you're going to do a kneeling forward bend. And I really like having my knees up on a little blanket like that, because it sinks me down into my heels. And then stretch forward and rest your head. for Shavasana. So Shavasana is just as important, if not more important, than all the other poses. So lie down with the blanket up to your neck and supporting your neck and your head. Check that your abdomen is soft and now you're really resting flat on the ground. Then bring your feet together, slide your legs straight, and then roll them slightly out. Then roll the arms out. And I sometimes like a little bit of weight on my thighs. So they relax, become passive. And then breathe out all the way down to your feet. And breathe out all the way down to your fingertips. Relax all the muscles and rest your awareness inwards. rest on your right side with your head on your arm. Bend your knees so your back can broaden. Then pressing your hands into the floor, bring yourself up to sitting. Restorative practices can be lovely on a cold December evening. You can probably hear the wind blowing on the outside of the studio. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.